hello guys welcome back to another tutorial on clue 3d i am 3 the creator and in this tutorial i'll be explaining how to export high quality design from clue 3d to blender and also how to get texture for your alembic um, format because when you export animation in alembic format from clue 3d to blender you don't get the um, texture so i'll be explaining how to bake texture for your alembic um, um, format also of high quality too so let's begin what you are going to do first in this um video is to uv map all this properly when you are exporting your animation as a beginner make sure your pattern are properly uv mapped so you have to go to this simulation part the drop down click on uv editor and if you are using the um code 3d 7.3 just select a and select this auto uv packing it will take a while depending on the number of pattern you are using um, in that design and to help you pack it in just a single box so i'm going to skip this part so now that our um, pattern has been properly um you've been mapped in the uv editor if you are not satisfied you can always reselect all of them and select this to randomize the pattern again for you and also in a single box so but now that we are done with this this is what we are going to do next so i'll be giving you two options on exporting Okay, let me start with the first one here. So let's assume you exported your um, design as Alembic now. I want to get the texture for this um, animation. Let's say this design is animated. What you are going to do is to click on this photograph icon, which is the big texture. So this is what you select on. So when you select this, this is, um, you can select zero to one. So this is what you are using, zero, zero to one, you get, or select one to one anyone so um the next thing i'm going to do is to create a saving part so uh i'm coming let's you can save it anywhere you can create the folder and save it inside let's say i'm saving it in this folder and i'm going to name it a so i name it a so the most important thing is to increase the size that's the pixel the size is very 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 important so most of us probably would have met the um, pixel around maybe like 1024. That's like a one key um, pixel, uh, even map pixel. So you have to increase it to be very high. So like when you write 8,000, then it just fall back to 7,000 something. Yes. So increase it to the highest. Okay, this 8192. So increase it to the highest so that when you um, when you use the image texture, the node wrangler in um, Blender, you get the best of quality. You get everything is going to be sharp on blender this is what you need to do on um, blender and just save it select the texture type you want to um use rising diffuse normal displacement save it if you are only using diffuse and normal save it you get so that's what you just need to do. so when you save it you can go to your blender then add your texture by going to the shader add a new shader Control shift t import your um image texture and then you get your um you get your design so that's just that about the first option then the second one is when you're exporting as obj so when you're exporting as obj you are going to do similar um thing there so you export obj so let's say we are saving it here and i name this um jesse test jesse test so So this is it now you have to make sure also that it's in 8k i'm not selecting the avatar i only need the pattern single make sure it's in 8k another common mistake is that when you are changing the scale of um blender of um the, the um design you're exporting make sure it's in meter or else it's either the design is too big that you cannot even find it in the blender viewport or it's too small for you to scroll or zoom to get the um design i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say this is a very common mistake uh, for beginners mostly beginners people that are new to clue 3d they have a lot of issues when it comes to exporting um designs which is also something i also faced during my own time so but then let me just save this i'm going to save this and we're going to move to blender so i can show you what i'm trying to say so now that we are in blender i'm going to be exporting the obj file the, uh, importing the obj file that we just exported from Clo 3D. Uh, let's go to import. Uh, sorry, OBJ. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, 
So this is the Jesse OBJ import. So now we have our Jesse here on screen, waiting for it to load the texture. So our texture has loaded, as you can see. I see the graphics are sharp on the design so you can see the design in high quality here so let's look at it also in um, cycles but let me add lightning to this so shift a the plane okay and shift a let me just use the normal area light and let's increase the size and probably make it 50. cycles yes so let's go to cycles so this is it in cycles as you can see and uh, you can see the quality is sharp so that's just what you need to do to increase or to get a high quality export from clo 3d so thank you for watching this tutorial on clo 3d to blender don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos.